cooking glass with the professionals. Today we will be making glass. We always make glass. Ah, uh, but not just any type of glass. Ancient Egyptian glass. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Our first ingredient is quartz. Where did you get that? This quartz has been passed down in my family for one generation. That's be pretty special, huh? Now, we're gonna melt this quartz today in fire. Watch it sizzle. I don't see anything. Then listen to it sizzle. It's not sizzling. Careful, it's bubbling. Let's move away from it a little bit. While it's melting, let me tell the audience a few facts about ancient Egyptian glass. You can go dilly dally or something. Here. Ancient Egyptian glass symbolized power, wealth, and boosted political allegiances of the elite. It was valuable and precious. Egyptians used crucibles to hold the glass while it was melting. They melted the glass in low temperatures and then shattered the crucibles to get the glass out. Let's show them the crucible, Ray. All right. What a rare and valuable item. We came across it. Where did we come across it, Ray? Google Images. Ah, yes, what an amazing place. The quartz has probably melted by now. Right, let's go check on it. It's melted. Incredible. It's completely melted into liquid. It's hot. While it's cooling down, you can tell them a few more facts. I'll go get a bite to eat. All this talking about glass is making me hungry. All right. It is unknown exactly who invented how to make ancient Egyptian glass or exactly where it was invented, but we do know that it was invented in the Bronze Age more than 3,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. Glass was considered to be very prestigious. In fact, blue beads were considered to have magical powers and glass vessels were made under the reign of King Tutmos I. I'm back. Look. The liquid quartz has turned into glass. Now that's how you cook glass.